Hello, my name is Lauren Balshine. I am at Canada's Northern House, a pavilion established by both the Nunavut and Northwest Territories governments for the Vancouver 2010 Winter Olympic and Paralympic Games. In fact, the media referred to Canada's Northern House as the gold medal pavilion. A highlight of the pavilion is the exhibition Northern Games at the Olympic Games. This exhibition showcases 50 sculptures by both Canadian Inuit and Inuvaluate artists. Games and athletics were an important part of traditional life in the North, and many artists have created works of art on this subject. Thanks to Lynn Feasy of Points North, who had the vision to include this exhibition, and to her associates for creating this museum quality display with storyboard on the wall explaining the various Northern Games. Now please join me on a tour of the exhibition. Here we have a monumental sculpture by Pierre Karlick of Rankin Inlet. The base in granite shows a hunter face to face with a polar bear and the polar bear has its paw on the seal. And both the bear and the Inuit relied on the seal as their staple diet. And then rising from the source of food, you have all the various activities that are carved in low relief on the tusk. The first athletic activity we see carved on the tooth is the hand pull where the contestants each grasp a bone or wood handle attached to a short rope and then try to pull the other from their seated position. There is an example of a woman juggling. There is an example of two contestants in a cheek pull or a mouth pull contest where each contestant puts an arm around the other and then hooks a finger in the opponent's mouth and pulls until submission. The drum was the only traditional Inuit musical instrument and was used for entertainment, utilized by the shaman, and sometimes used in contests. We have people engaged in a tug of war. Here is an example of a traditional game of hitting the other opponent in the head and face with your bare fist. This painful contest was also thought to build strength and endurance. Here, Karlik has carved an ear pull game where the contestants place a loop of string or leather thong around their ears and then pull. In this scene, Karlik has carved people kicking a ball. And then further up, there is an example of a traditional game where a piece of bone with a hole is suspended from the roof of an igloo and the contestants try to pierce the hole with a long stick. This game was played to improve hand-eye coordination. We actually have close-ups of the nine different athletic activities that we find on the task so that people can see them more clearly on the wall. Here we have a picture of three male narwhals as only the male has the left incisor tooth that protrudes from its mouth. And the early fable of the unicorn, we believe, was founded by the first whalers who encountered narwhal in the sea. In this case, we have various sculptures dealing with high bar and rope acrobatics. The first three sculptures are by one artist, Judea Gotiliak from Kimirut. The first sculpture on the left shows the Inuk stringing the game. The middle sculpture shows the Inuk hanging onto the swing. And finally, the third sculpture 
shows the Inuk putting his feet through the swing. Here we have three sculptures showing high bar and rope acrobatics, and we're looking at three different styles of art. The first sculpture on the left by Luke Anatolik of Arviat is a minimalist work. The middle sculpture by George Oksak of Iglulik shows a more representational figure hanging onto a bar. And finally, we have a sculpture, a miniature sculpture by Luke Erut, showing a Inuk hanging onto a rope supported by four narwhal tusks. <laughs>